Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here today to look into the fields that are around this 20 inch television, it's a tube television. And the reason why we're going to be looking into the fields is because I noticed that my plants were deforming in the fields created by my television. And it somewhat perked my interest in the fields that are around these devices that would actually cause my plants to deform. So we're going to look into that right now. I'm going to use a couple of tools to do that. One is an AM radio and the other one is a trifield meter. And this is the 100XE meter and it reads magnetic, electric and radio fields. And we're going to use it on magnetic and electric. So we're going to start off on 0 to 100 on the magnetic range. As you can see, there's a magnetic field around this television that's very, very high. The thing you should know about magnetic fields is that a whole bunch of cancer research has shown that anything above 2 is a cancer risk. And as you can see, we actually exceed 100 on this television and we're right next to it. And something to be aware of with televisions is they're a very high emitting device of electromagnetic radiation. And if you spend inadvertently too much time in these fields, you may actually get quite sick. And on this particular TV, we can see there's actually quite a large field coming out of the back of it as well. And it's something to be aware of with TVs is that the field pretty much extends the whole way around the TV. So it's not the emissions just out of the front that you have to worry about, it's the emissions out of the sides, the top, the bottom, and the back. You need to be very careful putting TVs against walls because of this, because if somebody has a chair on the other side of that wall, they may actually find that they're sitting in the field of your TV. And uh, it's the same if there's a bedroom on the other side of the wall where your TV is. The field will extend through the wall and into the bedroom. It's particularly important around children that you're aware of these effects and you know where to place your electronics. You should be keeping children out of these fields. So we've switched over to the electric field now. And as you can see, it has a very large electrical field around it. You can see that field is pulsating. And these, these effects don't just apply to TVs, they apply to a lot of electronic products. And generally the higher power the product is, the more emissions it will give out. So, you certainly have electric and magnetic fields around this device. Let's see about radio. So here's the radio. We're tuned on to AM 530. You can be tuned in to anywhere on the AM band as we're detecting wideband radio emissions. You just need to make sure there's no radio station there. So something to be aware of with televisions is that the field increases with the size of the television. So the larger your television is, the larger the field is going to be. And the more distance you need to put between you and the television to make sure that you're not in these fields. 
So sometimes it actually pays to have the uh, smaller model TV because the smaller model TV actually gives out less electromagnetic radiation and interference emissions. Now this subject was extensively documented back in the 1950s by a man called Dr. John Nash Ott. And I would recommend that you read this book, Health and Light, as it documents the problems he found with televisions and human health. And he found some very significant problems, and uh, you'll read about them in this book. Hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.